this is The Witcher 2, and I want to start the stream actually with a video uh, to give people who, first off, I don't, I don't know if we need a show of hands, but uh, let's do that. Let's have a show of hands. Just say me if this applies to you. Uh, how many of you guys are completely unfamiliar with The Witcher, like at all? Like you've heard of the game, but you really don't know a whole lot about it. You haven't really investigated it that much. You don't know a whole lot about the world. If that fits you, if that's you, just say me in chat and we can give a quick recap so that you're not confused. Because you can see we are starting with Witcher 2 and it's a good idea to get you accustomed to the major points so that you're not completely lost. I don't want you lost. I want everyone to be like, okay, I know exactly what's going on now. Or at least close to that. This is a huge, it's a huge world. There's a lot of things going on and it's not like your typical hero game where you are you are the center of the universe and everything is going around you. There's a lot of things happening here that they don't care about the Witcher. Like they don't even know who he is half the time. A couple of things you should know. A couple of terms that you're not gonna be familiar with. I think this video does a really good job of giving people a summary, but it doesn't do a whole lot of a good job giving you the context to understand that summary. For example, there are faction names in here that they don't properly explain. And there's sort of a lot of like relationships between things that they don't really cover because it's hard to do that in a five minute video with a game like The Witcher. So really, really brief. This takes place in a world called the continent. Uh, it's the literal name of the land. Uh, there's a lot of different kingdoms and little areas and territories and factions that are kind of all at war with each other somewhat, vying for power, etc. Um, you're going to hear things like Skoyatel. Skoyatel are non-humans, so elves, dwarves, uh, and other creatures, if you will, if you're if you're one of the racists in the order. Um, these are non-human scum, basically, if you're if you're a fan of the order, uh, that. Uh, have kind of banded together. They're tired of being prosecuted, persecuted. They're they're tired of, of being mistreated, and they've sort of banded together and are fighting back. And he, a lot of human factions or pro-human movements are considering them to be a terrorist group, but they consider themselves to be dramatic, like very mistreated, and they're trying to fight back. So when you hear Scoyotel, that's what that is. Um, there's a place, there's people called, uh, I, I want to say it's, the order of the, the the order of the rose or something. Jazz, correct me. And let's just play this video, and uh, I'll give you guys a quick recap if there's any questions you have from this, and then we'll go into The Witcher 2. Five years after the Great War, the Northern Kingdoms continued to suffer. Rivers flowed red with elven blood, and life was cheaper than a fistful of coppers. The world needed a hero. They said he arrived on the wings of a storm to help the downtrodden. They said he'd gone mad and died. They called him the Sword of Destiny. They said he returned, for only evil can vanquish evil. In truth, Geralt of Rivia reappeared, barely breathing and bereft of memory, near the Witcher's citadel of Kaer Morhen. The wild hunt, War's Omen, sped across the sky, while in Vizima, a cow gave birth to a two-headed calf. All other claims are legend. At Kaer Morhen, Geralt recovered, yet even his one-time lover, the powerful sorceress Triss Merigold, could not restore his memory. The calm would not last. Armed brigands led by the sorcerer Azar Javid and the professor, a killer for hire, attacked the citadel. Though bandit blood stained Kaer Morhen's walls, the attackers made off with their prize. The secrets of Witcher mutation, concealed for centuries, disappeared in a flash of magic. The Witchers set off on a search, as tradition ordained, to the four corners of the world. Geralt of Rivia went south to the Temerian capital of Vizima, where he'd once cured a princess of a curse. When the cat is away, King Foltes was nowhere in sight and Vizima was in turmoil. The Order of the Flaming Rose, Grand Master Jacques de Aldersberg at its head, pursued its crusade against non-humans. With whips and chains, swords and fire, the Order's ruthless steel-clad knights hunted all those they deemed strange for their ears or their stature. In Vizima, the Witcher picked up the bandit's trail. He learned they were members of Salamandra, a secret criminal guild. Brutal in their methods, they dealt in fistech, murder, and extortion. Geralt didn't know these were means to a darker girl. As the Witcher hunted Salamandra, he was drawn into the conflict between the Scoyatel rebels and the Order of the Flaming Rose. The two sides finally clashed in the swamp near Vizima. 
Knights of the Order and Scoia'tael fought a bloody battle while Geralt faced Azar Javid and the Professor. The mage felled Geralt with powerful spells, leaving him as fodder for swamp monsters. Triss saved the witch's life. He recovered under her nurturing hand. She introduced him to powerful politicians and influential merchant guildsmen. The mood in the city was tense. Confined to ghettos, non-humans spoke openly of mutiny. There was no sign of the king. Geralt found allies for his struggle against Salamandra. The Witcher resumed his hunt. He destroyed Salamandra's secret fist egg factories and killed the professor. The Witcher found Azar Javid's hideout. This time, Geralt was prepared, and no spells the renegade mage threw at him could stop his sword. Yet the stolen Witcher's secrets were in the hands of another, Jacques de Aldersburg, Grand Master of the Order. Provoked by the knights, non-humans rebelled. De Aldersburg responded, releasing his greater brothers, the horrific result of his experiments with the Witcher's mutagens. Vazim was in flames and dying. Enter Foltest and his army. The king summoned the Witcher and demanded the head of the Grand Master, a monster in human form and a usurper. The Witcher set out in search of Jacques de Aldersburg and the stolen Witcher's secrets. The Grand Master plunged Geralt into his vision of the future, where the wolf's blizzard would destroy the world and kill all, no matter their race or abilities. De Aldersburg wished to create superhumans, ensuring the survival of the human race. It was a vision Geralt rejected. He drove his sword through the Grand Master's heart and did well. For the vision was naught but a madman's nightmare. They say the King of the Wild Hunt appeared to claim Daldersburg's soul. They say the Grand Master was an evil man, for the Wild Hunt comes only for the filthiest and most vile. They say only evil can vanquish evil, but those are only legends. In truth, Geralt recovered the Witcher's secrets, and Vizima proclaimed him a hero. Yet life is no fairy tale. One story ends, another begins. As the king handed the Witcher his reward, an assassin attacked. His cat-like eyes and medallion were unmistakable. But that is another story. Okay, so, yeah, so what makes a Witcher a Witcher? Uh, a witcher is has has nothing to do with witches. Uh, essentially, it's a mutated human man. Only only human men can become witchers. I don't I don't know why. Cause reasons. Generally, they're not volunteers for this. Usually, they're ch children who have been either orphaned or they've been, been lost or something, and they've been kind of brought in. Uh, we're gonna watch that video in a second. Um, typically, they are. Sometimes they are even traded. Uh, so witchers are basically, they're superhumans. They live a very long time. They're very strong. They heal very quickly. Jesus game, quit being so loud. Uh, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of things that make a witcher a much more superior fighter. And generally they are, their purpose is to kill monsters. There's a lot of monsters in the world. Big ones, small ones, flying ones, swimming ones, all sorts of things. Witchers are there to kill monsters, but they don't work for free. They are independent. They typically tend to stay out of politics for the most part. There's a lot of people who are fighting each other and want power. And while witchers generally help the population for a price, they are usually kind of not liked. They're usually kind of hated uh, and feared. Uh, the 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 rebels of the world kind of fear them because they can't really beat them very easily. Political people see them as unpredictable and as potentially even a threat to their realm sometimes. Um, but most of the time, witchers are called into cities, towns, villages, whatever, because they have a monster problem and they need to deal with that problem. And witchers are especially good at dealing with monsters. And you'll see more about that like as we go through this. Uh, if sometimes they're traded though, I, I mentioned that and that's like if a person cannot pay a witcher Sometimes They can build their numbers and recruitments by uh, Instead of saying okay, no need to pay me But um, you know your next born your next born child uh, They belong to us now Sometimes that happens to to become a witcher there's a vigorous training lots of a grueling trial process as you're going through it 
And there's also this mutation, I forget what it's called, this ritual that takes place. And about 70% of the people who try this ritual will die. So even after all of this training and stuff you go through, when you take this ritual that ultimately mute, mute, uh, alters your mutations, right? When you, it, it, it um, enhances you, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it will either work and you are now great and superhuman, or it will kill you. Uh, as an example, Geralt is about a hundred years old in this game. Geralt is the the white-haired witcher that we're playing is the main character of the game. And uh, he's about a hundred years old and he looks like he's got a long life left to live. So that's good. And uh, what else? Oh, witchers are sterile. So they can't have children. So naturally, that also makes them a bit attractive to women who are interested in having some fun because they're very strong. They're protectors. They're the bad boys, if you will, and they can't get pregnant from them. So good stuff. They also have really high stamina, long longevity, if you will. So that's an attractive thing as well. Um, there's also another faction or another group of people in the world that are sterile as well, and that's sorcerers, or sorceresses, really. It's sorcerers exist, but mostly the sorceresses, the, the females, are have a more prominent place, and they they are generally very beautiful because they can alter their appearance how they so choose. So they tend to be that way too, and they also take part in politics a lot. They're kind of the opposite of witchers. They tend to inject themselves into society to help control. And there's this sort of overarching group within the world called the Lodge that most of the more prominent sorceresses are a part of. And so they'll, they try to manipulate things a little bit more for control. The sorceresses are also sterile. Uh, so that's great. Are they immune to STDs? Correct. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're just, they're, yes, they're just immune to everything. They have super, they're superhumans, essentially, when it comes to their health. Um, they can be killed, but they age incredibly slowly. And um, yeah, so there's that. That's the Witcher 1. There's a couple of other points in the Witcher 1 that might be noticed or might be notable. We're going to start the Witcher 2. I believe it starts near, or at least in the beginning of the game, we're going to meet Foltest. He is the king of Temeria which is just another faction. There's Redania, there's Nilfgaard, uh, there's the neutral commerce city of Novigrad, there's Skellige and all the little uh, Jarls and little subsections of Skellige as it is. Uh, we're going to be in Temeria to start and we're going to be meeting Foltest. Now, Foltest was in, that, was in that video that you guys just watched, but he has a notable part within our save file that we're importing from The Witcher 1. I'm going to start a new game and I'm going to import Witcher 1 save. In this save file, there's three things to note. So at the end of the Witcher 1, you get to you kind of have to choose a side. You don't you don't have to. Um there's there's two sides, they're fighting each other. You can either choose to side with the Order of the Flaming Rose. They tend to have a lot of they they fight with honor. Um they fight they're fairly structured, but they're also pretty racist and a lot of their motivations and a lot of the things that they do are not generally acceptable by 2019 social standards. Let's go that way. Um, then you have Scoia'tael. That's the other. That's the other faction aside. Um, those two are against each other because the order tends to be very pro-human against all the non-humans, and Scoia'tael are all the non-humans that have been oppressed by the racists who are fighting back. You can choose to side with one of those other, or you can do the Witcher route. The tr traditional Witcher, Witcher route is to stay neutral because we don't really engage in politics. In this save file, we remain neutral. We didn't side with either one at the end of the game. So both sides are not necessarily our friends, but they don't necessarily hate me either. This opens and closes doors to us in The Witcher 2 and 3 moving forward. So it's really... The decisions you make in this game are really not like Mass Effect, where it's Paragon and Renegade. There are trade-offs, there are positives and negatives to literally anything, and you can kind of go any way you, you want for a little bit slightly different experience moving forward as far as interacting with certain characters and meeting new characters. For example, I won't be able to really meet the leader of the Order uh, because I didn't side with them. And had I sided with them, I might get in the door a little bit more with them 
and meet some some new people that way. There's two other things. During The Witcher 1, there is I forget the guy's name. I forget the kid's name now. Uh Foltest the King. He has a daughter. Uh, I believe her name was is it Ada? I wanna go with like Ada, maybe? Something like that. Jazz. <laughs> Sorry. Um the her his daughter is cursed. There's this big curse on her, and you're going through to try to cure her. And one of the results at the end of the game is either you cure her or she's killed or you kill her. Um, in this save file, we saved her. We cured her. Full test is going to like us because we cured her. Uh, the last thing is there's this kid we discover in The Witcher 1 called Alvin. He is a source. A source is a person who has magic ability sort of inherent within their person, like within them. Um, it's not something that they've learned. Uh, they simply are born with it and they have a really high acuity for uh, sorcery, for the magic arts, if you will. And by doing that or by being that person, they either need to take part in some good training so that they control it or they grow up without that training and they might go insane and not be able to control their power and be a very big danger to people. Um, there are two characters we meet throughout this. One is more prominent than the other moving forward. Uh, one is Triss. She's like a redheaded sorceress. Uh, she has a much more prominent position in this, in this playthrough. And then there's Shani or Shani? Shani. Um, she's a non-human. She's a medic. She's a nurse. Both of these two women are romance interests. Both of these two women are um, kind of their own difference. Shaney's a little bit more jealousy. She gets a little bit more jealous. Triss, not so much. She's got a lot going on in her life. Uh, so, but this kid Alvin, he's at a hospital and Shaney's taking care of him. Uh, you can either choose to let the kid stay with Shani, who is a medic at the hospital. Uh, or you can turn the kid over to Triss because Triss is like, dude, this kid, he needs to be under the proper watch. I don't care if he's if he's wounded and sick. Uh, he needs to be with sorceresses because he needs to learn how to control this magic. Um, in this playthrough, we we gave the kid to Triss. So those are the those are the major decisions within this that are in this save file that are moving forward. We were neutral in this in the war. It's not really a civil war. Because these are all different factions. They're all different, like, countries. So, but there's, like... Yeah, Scoyotel isn't really a country. So, we didn't side with the Order or the Scoyotel. We stayed neutral like a Witcher would. Um, we gave the kid to Triss. And the third one was... Uh, oh, we, we cured Full Test's, uh, Full Test's daughter. So, there you go. There's a lot of other smaller choices. But, like, I would have to go so in-depth into Witcher 1 to, like, walk through all those things that it's not worth it <laughs> they don't have a huge meaning to the game moving forward so so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys the beginning of the game there's a cut scene that starts the beginning of the game i'm not sure if this plays when i start the new save file and i want to make sure you see it because it sets the tone and it sets the scene for the start of this game Ha 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 ha! 
He looks so calm when he does that. Manual selection. We're going insane. <laughs> All right, here's the story. Not as repulsive as these monsters to find the nature and known in the name of a witcher. They are offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft, unscrupulous scoundrels without conscience and virtue. They are veritable creatures from hell, capable of only taking lives. It's the portrayal of witchers. Six years have passed. Memorable day in the Northern Kingdoms. Their forces united defeated the house. I need to like read this faster. Famine and disease reign in all the North. Elves and dwarves inhabit ghettos. In ever increasing numbers, they flee to the forest to join the Scoia'tael units. Because they're being oppressed. In Temeria, an unidentified assassin attempts to murder King Foltest. The killer dies at the hands of Geralt of Rivia, a professional monster slayer. A month passes. On the banks of the Pontar River, Foltest's army is victorious once more, ending civil strife in the country. Yet the price is, I, I assume, too, too much. I, I couldn't read the last sentence. Dungeons. Come on, sixes. Daddy needs you. Oh, shit. Ah, 20 orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there. He's awake. You daft. Don't go in there. Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> Roll again. Why? The dice didn't roll. Oh, sorry about the counter. That's that's my bad. Look, he's awake again. Counter shouldn't be there. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. Fuck's sake! They plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill.
I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. How foolish are Vess! Unshackle him. Geralt of Rivia. Care to introduce you? Hey, right. How are you? No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouth. I think the chair is messing with me, man. I swear. Yeah. You will right. tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a <laughs> while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Tamaria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Okay. Well. So, if you're... Well, it'll it'll go through exactly what this is, but we're about to get a flashback into what happened in the past and why he's here. But let's just say something happened and he's being accused of it, and that's why he's in the cell. So if you're confused at why, this is what's happening. Um That morning the king summoned me. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. <laughs> And this is why the stream is marked as mature. <laughs> there's a lot of this in this game. Not a, not a lot, but there's enough. Witcher, are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges. Summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the king... We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. That guy, man. <laughs> Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. People are dying because of a lover's spat. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, learn about the assassin. That dream, so 
the it looks to me like the dialogue the white ones are probably to get more information and then the the one single item that's a slightly different tint is probably to continue in the progression so i sh i think anyway i can click these two without and still click this one later uh a scout reported seeing a dragon one of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river claims he ran into a scoyotel unit that would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down the elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped a dragon in the midst of civilization oh, please besides does it matter witchers don't hunt dragons or has something changed nothing's changed and you're right it's probably not a dragon although it could be a forked tail or a slizzard maybe even an overgrown wyvern the scout ran into some elves and scurried away that's how that story begins and ends the unlucky assassin how did the autopsy go it was a nightmare in the months since you killed him, the King's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. Mm. That dream. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. So there was this event, right, where he was kind of knocked out and left for naught. And he lost his memory. So he's been trying to, like, recover things of his past that he doesn't remember he's been trying to recover that over time all right hey wasser how are you the king and his stupid war i'll join you later all right by the king's will go and seek king full test want to it says i'm bleeding for one second which is kind of weird the bleeding effect is still on the screen it's actually quite weird is this game full of bugs See, I'm somebody who will uh, walk around and like look at everything. So I'm probably going to be picking a lot of herbs. <laughs> Maybe. We'll probably make a whole lot of potions and stuff. It's interesting to go back to The Witcher 2 after The Witcher 3. I agree, Bloodwake. And it's like, it's really... Um... Granted, it's been like over two years since I've even touched The Witcher 3. So Witcher 2 is going to be even, even kind of strange at that point. But it's also... I don't know why the blood effect... The, the bleeding effect is still on the screen. That's very strange. I guess I'm going to have to start bleeding so that I can get the the real counter. Use the medallion to, de to detect nearby threats, monsters, containers, places of power. Press C to activate the medallion. So I've got that hotkey to my mouse. One thing I don't have hotkey to my mouse, though, is, like, health potions and stuff. And I'm kind of thinking if I had, you know, like, I just... I whipped through the tutorial and basically said, okay, I don't need to fight all these guys, but um, I feel like I want to hotkey some things still. So I'll, I'll go and do that like before the next stream so I don't have to do that here, but we can go and look at this if we want to. Ah, they're in for a beating. Let's talk to this guy. Foothold on the wall is all we need. Any advice? I think what I want to do, because this is actually still really loud. That's just the way this games are today, man. I'm gonna bring music down to like six. I'm actually gonna bring sound to about seven. Just so like I want dialogue to be much louder than everything else, you know? Really as tough as they say. I'm actually gonna go even more extreme. I I want the dialogue to be louder than everything else. I'm gonna go about like this. 
that's really freaking loud. How is... There's no real difference between this and this. It's like not till you get down to here where it really makes a difference. It's pretty weird. All right. Hopefully that helps with hearing these guys talk. Really as tough as they say. A little bit better. Those trebuchets are fucking pounding the pull out of them. Wonder if there's anything over here. So this is like, you know, obviously a, a garrison of some sort, a camp for battle. They're fighting on the, they're fighting over there. Wait, you have a question for me? Who does? You? The one of you guys? Yeah, so these guys, pretty much everybody thinks of witchers in a different negative way. Most see them as like freaks, you know? They're monsters themselves. But when the time comes and there's a monster around, witcher's your best friend all of a sudden, you know? They're getting what they deserve. I hate traitors. I don't know why I'm still bleeding. So many men will die. All because of one bitch. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna go around this way. Just wanna see the general conversation around. Let's take all this stuff. You one of us or not. It's also kind of cool to hear some of the dialogue that comes from playing Gwent. Like, the Gwent, not Gwent within The Witcher 3, like, in the game, but, like, like, you know, the, the standalone Gwent game. <laughs> just, just the little one-liners that, that come in when you play the cards. Everyone hates the witches until they need them, and Geralt may be the most human of all the characters in the game. Yeah, it will depend on how you play him, but I mean, I'm I'm a pretty, I'm a fairly paragon kind of player with with Geralt. So. Greetings. Can I interest you in a worthy cause? We could use your support. What What's kind of cause? cause? Uh, uh, veterans for former fighting men of need. Uh huh. Found anyone gullible enough to fall for that? There's nothing to fall for. It's just some arm wrestling. Mm. Arm wrestling. Yeah. Why? You put down some coin and we wrestle. Win and the pot is yours. Lose and, well, the coin goes to the fund. Care to test your strength? Yeah, I guess I can try it. I'm not sure what he's getting. What the? I'm not sure what the. It's been so long since I played this. Oh my god, I only have one coin, so that's gonna be my wager. You look safe. Everything all right? Keep the indicator in the yellow field. If yellow field reaches. Oh, we use I use the mouse. Got it. Yeah, that's how it works. Got it. Cool. You just need some really precise mouse controls, all. Well, that's some strength you've got in that arm of yours. You Thanks for the one coin. All right. Apparently, I'm still bleeding. It's great. It's really, it's really awesome. Can I go through this door? Apparently not. Where do I have to go to get get out of here? Maybe it's up there. Maybe it's like zigzagging through here. There's a chest here. I I do like to explore every little bit in these games. Like I really want to take in the whole world. This guy's got a cup game, to, like Greetings. dice to play. I haven't played dice poker. In a while. Dice poker. Oh, it's like walking. You don't forget how to do it unless you're drunk. Roll a few rounds with me. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's roll some dice. Place your bet. Yeah, why not? We'll go all six. <laughs> roll the dice. Okay, so I just kind of go like that. I forget how to... Forget how the rules work in terms of... Let's keep these... Do I select the ones I want to re-roll or the ones I want to keep? 
I think it's the ones I want to keep. He's got two threes, and I've got three twos. He's got two pair, though. So I'm kind of going in. I think it's harder to get three of a kind, yeah, than it is to get two pair. So we'll re-roll it. Oh, no, I... Damn, okay, so it's the other way around. Well, let's hope we get lucky, then. So you select the ones you want to re-roll. Fair enough. I win, though, because I have... I got I got lucky on that roll. Yeah, he has one of a kind. He, oh, he tried for the straight. That's good. Certainly so, for the future, you select play. the ones you want to re-roll. If you're going to explore every nook and cranny, it's going to take forever to finish the game. I disagree. And I don't think I'm going to explore every nook and cranny, but it's like one of those things where... You know, if there's people standing over there, and my objective is straight ahead, but there's people standing over there, I'm going to, like, walk over there to see if they have something to say, you know? But I'm also trying to figure out where the hell it wants me to go at the moment. Through here. It's got to be. Plus, I want to hear what, like, some of them say, you know? We ask not for victory, for we shall win regardless. We ask not for victory, for we shall win regardless. Because if you have God, you win. Beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a pen, the emissary of peace that I am. Hogwash! You're the emissary of the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, who spared no blood conquering over a dozen sovereign realms. Thus bringing them laws, culture, and peace above all. That's full test. Look at these giant trebuchets, man. You never really appreciate how big they are until you're standing like right next to one like this. Things are monstrous. Finally. Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advice. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Hmm. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. <laughs> he's he's at war what with his you, wife. Basically. Well, you, not with his wife, but like estranged so lovers. Those who did this live no more. Actually, is it his Master wife? Geralt, is his I wife? wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenner and during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. So that's full test. Uh, remember when, like, in the in the beginning of the stream, I gave you guys a summary of like the different people and what we did. I when I said that we saved somebody's daughter from a curse, this is it is his daughter that we saved. So full test knows me really well. In that regard, and uh, he's, he likes me in that regard because we saved his daughter. Take the knights alive for ransom. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, 
I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die, painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Thanks to Geralt of Rivia, my daughter Ada is alive and is now the wife of Radovid of Redania. Oh, oh. I fear you do not, Excellency. The midget king merely awaits my demise. I am certain King Radovid of Redania wishes Your Majesty a long and healthy life. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing Excellency. The old families will never accept a Redanian on my throne. Ada will have to content herself with Redania. I understand. The issue of succession remains unresolved. Your Grace, I request your permission. You should play Witcher 2. You have just it. join me, and now you can get the whole game. You can just Black watch the whole game with me. For a battle. No. What it's worth your time. I think it is. Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? So Triss is like advising full tests, right? Sorceresses. They sometimes involve themselves in royal courts, serve as advisors, etc. So he's referencing Triss. Um, in case it wasn't clear, Triss was also the woman he was in the tent with like five minutes ago. So there's that. He referenced his daughter as well and how he saved her. And then she is now married to Radovid of Redania. And Radovid is quite a character. We're going to we're going to meet him eventually. Yeah, we're definitely going to meet him. I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Ada no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Yeah, he could have been a witcher. Twisted an autopsy. It's possible he was a witcher. A witcher? What have I ever done to the plowing witchers? Anything more? He had no medallion, but that doesn't mean anything. Many in your shoes would have withheld that information. After the battle, Triss will report to me. For now, let us tend to the traitors. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, very! Catch, Witcher! Aim for the road with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Uh, this is him, right? Three degrees. Ah! Oh, nope. We gotta go a little lower, I guess. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. He ducked. We'll get him on the walls. Follow <laughs> me, Witcher. He ducked. I'm not sure it really matters whether I click that properly or not, but is there a, is there an outcome where you actually hit him? I'm on Blood and Wine in Witcher 3. I know some of the characters. I have no experience with any DLC in Witcher 3, but the rest of it I've played before. By the king's will. It's just been it's just been forever since I played it though. All right. So we're going to follow full test here. We're Onward, still bleeding. Witcher. I don't understand why. You know, Witcher. I think it's a bug. I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I seriously, I, I just want, I want all dialogue to be exceptionally loud compared to everything else. I really do. Because it's just, it's the sound effects are too, are not, they're just too loud. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, but they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped. 
a motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. Bread and vodka's all you'll get. When you can hit him, it's just really tricky. Yeah, they only give you one shot, apparently, so... I needed to uh, go lower. I'm gonna need to get potions on hotkey. I just gotta figure out how, th how that goes. Blood and mud, your prowess. We're just casually walking up in this thing. Look alive, man! Hail to the king! Where the hell are we headed? To battle! What the fuck do we want? Victory! This I like! He's very focused on war. <laughs> Full test. This whole war is like a lover's spat, too. You need to aim below him slightly, hit the wall on his feet, and make him fly. Target gotcha. We're nearly there. Weapons at the ready. Yeah, that makes sense, because he because he ducked, so I was a little too high. It was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride. I thought it was going to be different. Purposely stride on top of the walls while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Right then. Well, let's talk about the assault then. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Yeah, Roach. This is when we kind of, kind of when we meet Roach. Sort of. I mean, we, we meet him in Witcher 1, but we have a lot more to do with him in Witcher 2. Uh, I have weird. I have. Okay, I have a completely different. Uh, how did I change my clothes again? I guess I changed my clothes. For Tamaria, man! Don't worry, I'll just kill them all. They're traitors! <laughs> Lord Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen. For Temeria. Make sure you put a comma in that sentence. You want when people thinking that you want to Lord kill Swan, our majesty. You and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. Is that all we're fighting for is for glory? Protect King Full Test. Okay. I really don't know why I'm still Fall bleeding. Back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles. Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards. How do you like that silver? If what do you mean? Persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck. Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. Defeat the Ballista's defenders and prepare to launch a bolt. Uh-huh. Sure. Well, we're going down here then, I guess. I really can't get over this whole uh, shift to walk thing. It's really bizarre. I need to... I want to figure that out. I thought there was a way to sprint. Shift to walk is, is messing with me, man. No way to pillage the bodies. Where's all the loot? Oh, hi. Oh, 
Apparently, I did that against the box. Awesome. Great. Can't wait. Cool. Cool box art, man. Well done. Am I actually, like, is it... It's not actually bleeding, right? Okay, it is. It's going back up. Really strange. I kind of want to beat them all. Let's take all the stuff, too. Can we beat them all? Hi. Kill the Witcher! I just wanted to, you know, come and say hi. No problem. Nothing to see here. Isn't there a way to sprint in this? I thought there was. Casting signs. Cast the current sign by saying Q. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, hang on. Witchers. Yeah, I gotcha. Hi. 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 Apparently, I can't cast a sign. Fine. Whatever. You're going to require me to say Q? Apparently, you, apparently you are. Okay. Kind of want to do that, if I could, please. Uh, wrong sword. Please bring the other one back. Thanks. Oh, okay. I see how it is. So I thought I did. Maybe not. Apparently, I get around him. <laughs> He's not walking. Yeah. Shit. Forgot how all these things work. Ah, uh, wrong sword again. These archers are pissing me off. You're like the only one hitting me. Get away from me. Won't let me cast him. Thank you. The shield guys are a little bit different. We're playing on insane too, by the way. If you're wondering difficulty, we're on insane. Although I don't think this is like really reflective of that. This is supposed to be much easier, but I'm just super rusty with combat. I got to get back into it. I wish there was a way, an easier or faster way to pick up the gold and the different stuff than one at a time. Yes, I'm looting all of it, because loot is important, okay? I will get the loot emote going soon. I will I will get it. We will we will have it soon. And since the game is uh not um, not putting me on a time limit. Guess they'll never learn. New ability, assassin. Oh. I just got a new ability from that? Locked. It's not putting me on a time limit, so I might as well investigate. Let's go uh, do the uh, bolt. I was just asking about difficulty. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. We're on. Uh, we're on insane, but um, like we probably will die a lot because I'm so rusty. Oh hi. can't how do I you know what I bet I know how to I know how to beat these guys let's do this I wish I could move while I was doing this apparently not nope apparently not I don't have any bombs. The, so the shields. The shields, I say. Down with tyranny! The shields. 
Can I, can I, can I shoot it now? Kill the foes in the ballista. That's what I want to do. Let's go. Aim the ballista. I'd love to see how much of a loot hoarder Charlie would be in Skyrim. Uh, yeah, we had plans. We had plans to do Skyrim too. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that later. Wow, there's so many enemies. There's a lot of them. Let's kill the big guy first, please. Wow, that takes one takes care of one Quen already, doesn't it? Come on in, my wonderful trap. And then not totally not hit him at all. Why is he missing? All right, what the hell is that shit? Whoa! It's another shield guy. are annoying. I don't know how to deal with them as well as the other ones. I think probably I'll be told that repost is the way to deal with them, but it's not giving me the option. Or they just like wait for them to wait for them to strike and then move around them, I guess. Can I shoot this now? This should be a way to de-arm. Okay, we can go through it now. The towermen, storm the tower. Why would they even set a ballista up here? It doesn't make sense to set the ballista up right here, does it? Like, there's really not a whole lot for it to target, aside from yourself. Rejoin full test of the barricade. Put the sword away. Uh, probably got to go up this way. Oh, here we go. Hi there. Frickin' oh, I put the sword away. Dumbass. Wrong button. I really shouldn't put those two buttons together. Igni is right next to put your sword away. Probably should not do that. Kill the Witcher! I'm almost dead. I need to get uh, health potions on a hotkey. Is that easy to do? No, I can't adjust hotkeys in the game. It's, it's it's bad. It's really bad that they do that. Uh, it would have to be like this. I think you meditate. Is that how it's? Is that what's required? Meditation for healing. See in the dark and through walls. Oh, I remember cat potion. Increases regeneration, swallow, increases vitality generation. Perhaps that's what I want. How long does it last? I don't know how long it lasts. Let's just let's just not. We can we can go without it. Let's see. Yeah, that and Axie. Oh wait, where's my Axie button? Isn't it this one? No, that's not. I forgot which button I made Axie. Oh no. Wait. Oh, I think I messed it up. Nine is Axie, right? Yes, nine is Axie. Okay, one second. I messed this up. Let me go back really quick. Tell me that you are nine. Okay, I, I do know. I do have an Axie button. Good. As long as I have an Axie button, I'm okay. Okay, can I get back in the game? Thanks. Can I get back in the game? Video game? Hello? This game really hates capture cards, man. Ugh. Alright, thank you. Hopefully Witcher 3 is better. Alright. Well, we want to go back up. And it still has this icon that says I'm bleeding, even though I'm not. That's not the way to go. We want to go this way, I think. Yep.
take the iron ring. I'm gonna have to sell a whole lot of stuff, man. We're gonna be such hoarders. I'm gonna hoard everything. Uh, I'm gonna go around this direction. This looks fun. Hi! You guys waiting around for what? Apparently I can't hit you. It just totally misses them. It swings directly through them. Thank you. Can I have that? I can't loot until all the enemies are dead, right? Okay. Where are they? Attack King Foltus. I probably should have went with the king. Although I don't think he can actually die. It's a story thing. Let's try Axie. Follow me. First man to the tower will never want for why. Crystals burning. Yay for Axie. <laughs> just because. We're gonna love it. I love Axie. I just wish I could. I wish you could cast it faster. Axemen, give me splinters. Give me splinters. Nothing else to loot? Okay. There's even more people. Oh boy. They're coming after me. I'm surrounded. Freaking. Get out of there. Who am I going after? I think I want you. Or not. Nope. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Okay, just got one of them. It's okay. Can't get to him. He's like there's like wooden posts in my way. There we go. Seriously, I can't get to him. There he is. Won't let me hit him. This little wooden wooden board or whatever was in my way. Encrusted silver ring. That sounds cool. Probably should switch that key so that I'm not like undrawing my sword every time I want to do art on someone. There it goes. Desist! I'll be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalet. This will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian. You'll be treated with honor. Go plow yourself, King! Plow yourself. Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron, heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered, but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Cover the Witcher! Hang on. I have a level up. All right, one talent. Um, let me see about... This is all locked. Oh, I have to get to level eight, is it? Before these other ones become undone? I forget what it was. Dagger throwing unlocks... I think health is good though. Vigor regeneration, just just plus health. We can work on v regeneration outside of combat later, I think. But plus health would be nice. It won't. Oh, it won't let me do it. Does it take two? Two talent points. I guess it does. I have to have two talent points on this. Or maybe you can't do it. 
Maybe you're not allowed to do it while there's combat going on. Is it that way? It is this way, right? Yeah. Yes, everyone just pummel me with arrows while I'm in the middle of this. No problem. I'm sure nothing bad will happen while they're... Everyone is... I'm just allowed to go in here and just kill everybody. Is that really how that works? Mother. Apparently, that's how that works. I swear to God, this is insanity. Insane difficulty. I didn't change it. <laughs> They're just not very smart. That's all. They're no match for a Witcher. Take this and wish there was a faster way to pick up loot. I'm gonna sit here and let my health regenerate. And then let's save it here just because. Hi. Excuse me. Pardon me, coming through. Can I climb? Can I climb? Thank you. Nope. Search. Thank you. This will be a tough one. Can I climb? No? Not going to let me? Oh, maybe it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. All right, the famed then. Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the north. Time to test that rumor. Surrender and save your men. Enough slaughter. Surrender and full test will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Full test defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men and your honor. In a minute, you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher, and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, witcher. Hm. Let's settle this between us. This is between us. So be it. Stand back, men. They don't have to die. My nanny told me stories about you when I couldn't sleep. I especially liked the one of Renfrey and her rogues. As I grew, I dreamed of facing you one day. That dream will not have a happy ending for you. No, the lily! Halt. Uh, oh, nice mine. start to the battle there, huh? Well, let's start with Quen so we can maybe take a hit or two. Got through your shield. I really need to figure out how to deal with shields. Aside from just like igneing. Is it just I think it's just dodge and then and then go. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's it's really just like let him. <laughs> it's just let him make a mistake and dodge around it. That's pretty much it. Okay, men. Now what are you going to do? Yeah, drop it. Good. Ard? Ard does push him back. It doesn't knock him down, though. At least not until I upgrade it. I don't think it's strong enough. I've been using it. It, it's, it does it does stumble them, but they get they recover pretty quickly. 